right in the middle of it except that it's totally free of it consciousness in its pure state doesn't even care that it's happening you see <laughs> so this to me is what I call memory memory is this, is this movement this verb to self-reference and keep on creating the separation <coughs> that's what it does mm-hmm. 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 yes Right. It cre- keeps on creating a sense of separation, a separate self and a separate you. Mm-hmm. You know? But of course, enlightenment doesn't really have anything to do with the state. That's why it's called enlightenment. It has to do with waking up from states, from consciousness being fused in states. Not only really negative states of suffering, but also the very positive states. Also, also the very extremely positive states. Because if, if you're attached to the positive states, you will by nature be attached to the negative states. You can't have one without the other. When that separate self actually dissolves and life becomes spontaneous, and could you speak about what is truly living? What is life? <laughs> life is life. You see, the living is living. This can't be put into concepts. It can't be, it can't really be answered directly in words because here we are. The living is living. Right? Life is living right now. It's speaking here through me. It's speaking as you. This is it. It's all spontaneously occurring. And so this is actually what we end up with, which is life just living. As well as uh, that state of consciousness which is beyond this thing called life living. It's, It's ever forever beyond it, but it's also forever within it. Right? It's also displaying itself as this spontaneous movement of of life. You see, that, that, that doesn't operate by a, 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 a mental construct. You know, spirituality has just butchered life, as everything else tends to do. But spirituality and religion actually has been often the, the, the most distorted butchers of what life really is, at least the way people hear it, because it becomes some mythological standard. But enlightenment is not an aha, because ahas are bound by the law of impermanence, right? Aha, and it's all great, and wow, this is going to solve every problem I've ever had, and I understand the nature of all the whole cosmos. And then three days later, you're looking back through your notebook and trying to understand what you read, what you wrote. <laughs> this is useless now. Yeah. It solved all the problems of humanity three days ago, and now... <laughs> So we're not talking about even an insight that the mind needs to hold. It's not really an understanding. It's this that's always been there. This that is awake, that's awake in this moment. This simply realizes itself. As itself. It's not a knowledge thing. Because we're chasing a fantasy some ego's image the way it would like to see itself you see an ego would love to see itself you know as the blinding white light or the guru with the flowing robes or you know God knows what but that has nothing to do with it at all life is it's something that happens in the absence of all these images even the spiritual images, the beautiful images. Life is this beautiful movement. Consciousness in motion, that's what life is. Well, thanks so much for spending time with us. It's been great. Oh, you're so welcome. It's, it's great to talk with you. Yeah. Really great. Thank you. Yeah.